what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte react here back with another reaction man i'm out here you know what i'm saying um if you don't know now you know because i'm about to explain it but yes i'm trying to knock out these three episodes for soa these might come out on christmas day or the day after um after that there will be no more reactions on the channel for a entire week we will return next year um january 2nd so hopefully you guys are look forward looking forward to that all right so let me put this up a little bit here so i'm not bending down to talking to my mic as i'm watching to see what is going on with my mic right now my mic there's no issue with my mic but my audio interface is picking up interference from somewhere in the room and i'm trying to figure out where it is while i record this video i know right you said why are you trying to figure that out while you're doing your intro it's all right bro <laughs> it's what i do you know what i'm saying um you know because sometimes out of me doing stuff like this it won't it won't show me that there's interference but as soon as i start recording so i'm trying to play a little bit of mind game with this audio interface right now because it only wants to show up when i'm recording so in any case you know mind tricks whatever so sons of anarchy man one of my favorite series to watch right now um if not my favorite to be honest so we have things going on and i'm looking forward to see how they're going to wrap up the season what's going to happen because things are winding down you know what i'm saying uh clay kind of found out certain things you know kind of caught on to the whole cia thing you know um what he's gonna do with that information i don't know you know Gemma has gone back to clay we have that situation going on you know, because of Jax telling her what she has to do to get back in the good graces of the family. And they're part of the family, rather. Um, I wouldn't do that to my mom, as I've said before. But, you know what I'm saying? As I said, that's the only thing that I, you know, disagree with Jax doing on that end of things. And now they're letting Clay back into the mix now. I'm like, dude, I, I just want this character to just disappear, you know juice has been outed and now he's put on to clay's tracks now so he's got to spy on he's got to try to find some evidence you know against clay because they want to kick clay out and then they're going to vote if they should kill him or not so ah oh man this is this is it, it's getting it's getting we're getting into the thick of things you know so the story soon will come to a bump but anyways we're gonna jump in. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so another season down. It is now seven o'clock. My God, already on Christmas Eve, man. I said I was gonna prioritize this today, but as I said, man, I've been having some hectic start to my days. So I didn't even start to get reacting um, until like three or four o'clock in the afternoon. So um, watching three episodes take that kind of time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's now almost 7 p.m. for me. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing it anymore because I gotta go back and do something after this. But I did say I was gonna prioritize getting this season done as this my green screen keeps blowing. right behind so let me that. yeah yeah <laughs> all right so so yeah man season five season of anarchy very good season i wouldn't say it was the best season of the series so far but they de it, it was definitely cool to see certain things i think the peak was season four and now we've kind of dropped back down just a notch below the anxiety that came came with season four you know what i mean 
you know, we lost OP. There was a lot. We didn't really lose anyone this season. Some crazy stuff happened. You know what I'm saying? We almost lost Abel and, and Thomas. We, you know what I'm saying? We we almost it was a lot. It was a lot. And I have and I have to say it was it was very well done, very well written season. Just the same. Like the quality of writing has not dropped. I'm just saying in the state of excitement for the season, it was just a notch below what season four was. And I really enjoy it. Now we got Tara in trouble during the season. You know what I'm saying? I think I think my MVP for acting for season five is definitely Otto. And the reason why I'm saying that, and Otto is not even close to being one of my favorite characters on the show. His acting is just unbelievable. The dude, I think his name is Kurt Sutter. The, the uh, um, you guys have let me know. I think if I'm like season one or season two, you guys let me know that the dude that plays Otto is the dude that's directing. It's his story that he writes the show and everything. So it's like I don't remember. I think his name is Kurt Sutter. Um, but pretty cool stuff, man. Tara, I want to know who spilled the beans because somebody had to say something because that that whole thing was dead in the water the minute Otto decided to bit his you know bite his tongue off so that he wouldn't have to talk so somebody said something i don't know if it's clay i know Gemma. i don't know if she went if that's where she's coming from or if she was waiting outside for them to arrest tara because she did threaten tara it's like you try to take my 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 sons and you know you try to take my family you know what i'm saying i'm gonna say some stuff you know what i'm saying so I don't know, but I'm leaning towards it being Gemma, but she's not going to tell Jax that it was her. And I think she probably wants to be like a unanimous witness. You know what I'm saying? So not unanimous, anonymous. That's the right word. Anonymous, anonymous witness, not a unanimous, anonymous witness. So, um, you know, but at the end, but the, at the end of the day, the, the thing about it is, is that every, um, victim or not victim, but any, but anybody who's, you know, have their day in court, they have the right to face their accuser. So if a push comes to shove and she has to go to court, Gemma has to show her face if it is Gemma. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just thinking ahead, but talking about the season, how things played out, you know, I have come forward to seeing Clay and um the the situation that happened with tig i did not expect pope to die this season um i did not expect that so that was a bit of a surprise for me um you know but Jax, and i've been saying this since the forever in the show that jack's really smart dude that's why i've always wanted to see him in the leadership role for the club because i wanted to see the moves that he would make and as I said, I disagree with Bobby, even though he just cut his, his VP patch off, but I disagree with him on, on, on certain things. He want things to be different, but you can't expect someone to just make these, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's only when it comes to Clay that Jax has this forceful savagery. You get what I'm saying? like and it's clay brought this upon himself so if Jax can channel that because during all of this stuff he was getting all this stuff done to get them out of the the, the, the drugs and the gun game you know what i'm saying so Jax was doing his job he was doing what he's supposed to do for the betterment of the club it's just that with clay he, he, he just he's blinded by just getting revenge on this dude and he was like very 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 short-sighted when it comes on to clay so that was the only issue now bobby thinking that he after he heard all that clay has done how can you really still trying to save clay clay's life made me lose a lot of respect for bobby in my opinion i know he wants to stop the bloodshed and that's really what he wants he wants to stop the bloodshed and i get it but for me that extension of 
you know, that not happening, it shouldn't have been extended to Clay. It should have stopped short of him because he deserved to go one way or the other. And as I said, if they could find a solution to get him to prison, that would be good. Won't have to kill him. Everybody's happy, but at least he's paying for what he did to the club. He did a lot. You get what I'm saying? Just wiping off some tattoos. You know what I'm saying? Just wiping off some tattoos or losing your your your, your cut. To me, that doesn't cut it. It just it, it just doesn't cut it. I don't think that was enough to make up for all that he did. You know what I'm saying? And it's just it, it's just crazy to me. But at the end of the day this is where we are now nothing is ever easy and that's the life that they're living that's you know i can imagine that that's the life of you know just how criminals are in general you know what i'm saying that that's just the life you make these weird ass decisions and even when you're trying to go straight you still have to be dealing with all of this other stuff that you used to deal with before we've seen the same thing if you guys have watched power you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's just the same dynamic with Ghost trying to get out of the game, and he just it just keeps pulling him back. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like there's no clear cut way to really cut ties with this stuff once you start doing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know, and don't get me wrong, there are people, you know, success stories out there that you've seen documentaries of people talking about when they used to swing coke and all of this other stuff and they're you know they live till they're 80 years old they're not a part of it anymore but they're a respected member you know what i'm saying they don't do that stuff anymore but they're a respected former member you know what i'm saying of whatever gang or cartel or whatever it is we've seen it so some of these people sometimes they're doing documentary they gotta hide their face because they probably ran away you know what i'm saying they probably try got out but you know change their identity or whatever the situation is you know and don't want to be found because people hold grudges for an unlimited amount of time so there's no guarantee that they're not still looking for that person you know what i'm saying so for me the way how i look at this season five was definitely great i give it a, an, an eight out of ten giving it an eight out of ten for for everything the, the writing you know what i'm saying the acting during the season was definitely top notch to this point i've really grown to to like nero's character um let's see where that goes um and as i said man they really really tried to let me think that Jax was becoming this horrible person that would give up Tig. And for a minute, I started to believe it because I, I was like, he's really going to do this. You know what I'm saying? But then he switched up and figured out a way how he could use it to frame Clay. And I was not expecting that. And he also got rid of Pope in the process and put this other dude, the, the, the right hand man, in charge, which he was kind of like, when he said it to him, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I was saying to myself at the time when he said it to him was was like, you know, how long have you been with Pope? He was asking him all these questions. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, so I was thinking at the time, but I never said it out loud because I was actually thinking, is Jax planning something with this dude? You know what I'm saying? Trying to put some seeds in his head is like, how long have you been around this dude? You know, because he, he said something, you know, is that it's either your um it's either you're loyal or just really patient <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's like that's crazy so i was wondering at the time if he's planning something with this dude he didn't really plan something with him but he kind of planted the seeds it's like just in case popes goes you know what i'm saying you could be the man in charge you know what i'm saying so kind of leaving some hints there you know shove it under his subconscious a little bit for him to think about so that was pretty dope so um yeah man so the way out of season end was you know it didn't hand in you know bloodshed or anything of the sort um i'm not even gonna talk about galen because he's just an idiot he's a racist bastard so he's the thing about him is like he's just racist and 
race being a racist always drive you to do some dumb things you know what i'm saying <laughs> like the dude that was it that was i don't know if you guys have seen this video of this dude in the shop and he's buying something it's a white guy buying something both of them are at the shop there's a black dude there and both of them at the shop he kept calling this dude the black dude a nigga nigga he just kept saying nigga it was like what's going on my nigga and, and all this other stuff it's like some people is okay with that like me i'm fine i'm not going to fight you over that you know what i'm saying but for the most part there's a lot of dudes a lot of black guys out here they're not going to take that very kindly and he asked the guy to stop saying that stop calling me a nigga you know what i'm saying and the guy didn't stop and he ended up catching a beat down i'm just saying people racism lead you to do some stupid stuff sometimes <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm just saying you know and i just believe that was it was a dumb move it was a dumb decision the way out that entire scene i would probably take points off for that scene because it just didn't make sense and that's why i was so upset at it because it was just the decision just didn't make sense to me of how it played out and how the scene was written it just didn't make sense and at the same time just the decisions by the characters just didn't make sense why did the mexican show up why did they show up it, it just didn't make sense after Jax. but he's been doing things behind Jax's back you know what i'm saying that's just who they are romeo you know on the other one that's just who they are they just don't trust each other they're criminals they don't just trust each other so you can put it on that burner and let it boil you know what I'm saying? So, crazy things happen. But I'm just saying, I, I think that scene could have been written better, in my opinion. I think the way how it played out, it just kind of didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? You know, just Galen just, boom. Just like, what? I was like, you see like 20 dudes show up. You know what I'm saying? You're literally, the, and you just shoot one of the one of the dudes the one of the mexicans just out of the blue he just just decided to have a gunfight what do you think you shot one dude everybody's gonna be like all right all right boss we back off we'll see you next time for the shipment <laughs> what do you think was going to happen galen you know what i'm saying so that was just kind of crazy for me but in any case guys as i said eight out of ten for the season great season we're on to season six i will see you guys next year when we return with some more sons of anarchy all right Leave your comments in the comment section. I know a lot of you guys are going to have something to say about what I had to say in the episodes about animals versus humans because people always get touchy about those subjects. But that is just how I feel about things. Um, I think people are just way too, they get too up in arms about certain things. And I just don't feel that it's necessary. But if that's how you feel, I'm not saying I'm going to shoot you in the head if you act, if you overreact over animals. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying some people just go way too far sometimes and make it seem like animals' lives are more important than human lives, which I don't believe. I don't believe in that. It's, 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 it's not okay. You get what I'm saying? We were created to rule over animals, even though some of them you can't really rule over. But now, more and more nowadays, you're seeing... You know, dudes come out, you know, you're seeing videos and stuff with dudes playing with lions and tigers and all this other stuff, including themselves, living out into the wild with 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 lions like they're freaking Tarzan and stuff like that. So it is possible to befriend these really, you know, these animals. There's this possibility to live in harmony with every animal. It's just that it's a very risky situation because animals could look at you like your food at any moment some of these animals i'm just saying you know what i'm saying so it's a very risky situation to do that you know what i'm saying one day these lions might just be very hungry and they know you are weak <laughs> they know you're weak when it comes on to you know if you're going to compare the two in strength a lion is always going to have the advantage over a human in in a situation where you're helpless so just saying just saying facts are facts <laughs> you know what i'm saying so in any case guys talk to you guys so much thank you guys so much for supporting throughout the fifth season i know we don't do great numbers over here but we do them none the same anyways see you guys for season six i'm out <laughs>